hey guys and welcome back to my channel so as you can see from the title today we're gonna be reviewing a v part wig that was sent to me by astira hair so this is what the hair came in it's this really nice silver box and it has some gold writing on it it says astira hair so we're just gonna do like a quick unboxing on camera so the hair came in this bag hmm. So it's 22 inches this is long i'm excited and the cap size is medium and it's 180 percent density and you have all the information right here okay so before i show you guys the actual wig i'm going to show you guys what i got in the box so we got a pair of wig cap we got this band it does says Astia, so it's branded. Really cute. I got a edge brush. Definitely gonna need this. And I also got a pair of lashes. And then I got this bag. So you know when you're not wearing the wig and you just want somewhere to store the hair, this bag will definitely come in handy. So this is the hair. And straight out the package, I can say it feels super soft. I love the fact that it's just nice and puffy you know and right now just a little secret i'm trying to like i don't know if i'm going back natural but my hair is a bit natural right now i would give y'all a peek let me give y'all a peek like y'all see them roots it's curly like <laughs> right now i'm half relaxed half natural so i feel like this should blend perfectly with my hair unfortunately Okay, so if you have curly hair, I know you definitely can do a regular leave out. But for me, I think I'm going to have to do a little bit of manipulation just because my ends are a bit straight and I want the hair to blend. So I think I'm going to do two corner in the front. And if you're like me, you're transitioning or your hair texture doesn't like blend 100% with this one. Stay tuned to see how I'm going to style it and make it work for me but yeah this is the hair let me just come back it is 22 inches it's long and yeah so this is what my hair is looking like it's so crazy to see my hair in its natural form but yeah so i'm just gonna leave the leave on i'm not gonna leave any at the front i'm just gonna leave my edges out but for right here my hair is already in the middle so i'm just gonna leave out a little bit on both sides so i'm just gonna use this razor and cut right here okay so now, now that i have my leave out and everything and i try to like twist them a little bit just to get it out of the way the wig also came with this band. I know a lot of people complain about V-part wigs sliding off of your head. So with Astira here, you don't have to worry about that because you have this to connect at the back of your head to the wig and it's going to be snug, okay? So let's get into the actual details of the wig. So you have four clips on the front, one right here in the middle, and then you have the combs to the side so you know you really don't have to worry about this sliding off of your head so i'm just gonna open the combs now because i'm about to install it to my head and the reason why i like v-part wigs i feel like they're very quick and easy and it's like an on-the-go type of hairstyle you know with a lace wig you have to be worrying about your lace lifting gluing it down doing all of that this no this is so easy like this is always a go-to hairstyle for me this, this is actually my first time trying a curly V part wig and I'm a bit excited. So I'm just gonna move this and you want to put that first comb right here. And you want to make sure that it's like sticked into your hair. So like right there. And the same thing with over here. I 
and then you just close it really i actually really like this like look at it so far so good i don't know like i know when my hair is fully natural without like the straight ends and everything i feel like this would be a perfect mix for my natural hair so if you're a natural hair girly and you're on the tight curls type of end then i feel like this is for you so right now as you can see it's a little bit puffy let me just show you guys so i'm gonna use a spray bottle and go in and detangle the hair a little bit just to have the curls a little bit more defined i don't know if i'm gonna shape it up with a scissors or anything if i do i will definitely show you guys how it looks in like the natural form before i do any cutting knowing me i don't think i'm gonna cut it because i actually like it as is but yeah so i'm just gonna go in with my spray bottle I think I'm gonna kind of drench the hair a little because I do want my curls to be as defined as possible. Look at the curls. Guys, so far I'm kind of a bit impressed. Not gonna lie, not kind of. I am impressed because usually with curly hair, it has major shedding and look at my hand like there's barely any hair on my hand and i'm detangling for the first time and there's barely any shedding that's kind of new to me like usually when i'm detangling curly hair the hair is shedding like crazy but this is the curl pattern it's so pretty i'm a tad bit obsessed and as you can see, like, it's going through so smooth. I'm impressed. I'm not even gonna lie. So I have my curl cream here. So I'm gonna go in with this. I'm just gonna pump it in my hand. And now I'm gonna go in with my olive oil hair mousse. Cause I feel like when I use this, the curls don't get frizzy. Like they stay all day. Decided that I'm just gonna blend my hair with it because it actually blends. I was not expecting that. So I already did one side kind of. So this is what I did. I used a spray bottle and I just wet the leave out, completely drench it. Like, y'all see that blend? Like, yeah, my hair is a little puffy at the top, but it still blends. Now I'm gonna go in with some mousse just to get a little bit more, just to get a little bit more definition. And just to top it off, I'm going to go in with some eco gel. So I'm going to go in with the edge brush that they gave me and some eco gel. And just do my edges to complete the final look. Okay guys, so this is how the hair looks in the end. I tried my best to blend my natural hair with it. I do believe that if you have like a looser curl pattern then it will blend even better because my hair is more on the 4B side and I do have kind of like puffy hair but I feel like I did a great job like and this is the hair in the back let me just turn and give y'all a 360 view gorgeous but yeah I am loving this hair so you know and i feel like this came perfect time like i needed something to just do to my hair in the meantime 
but yeah if you guys are interested in getting this 22 inch curly hair v part wig from asti right here the link is gonna be in my description but you already knew that you already knew that but this is a great investment in my opinion i am in love with this hair it's so soft barely any shedding it was so easy to install so i mean why not you know but yeah click the link in my description and go and get yourself one if you made it to the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye